Hello everyone, uh, welcome to matrices in our tutorials. In this tutorial, uh, I'm going to talk about some useful matrix operations. So for that, uh, let's create a vector x first of all, and then create a matrix M out of this vector x uh, with the number of rows is 4. Okay, so this is uh, our matrix M. And then we can calculate the sum of the rows and columns of this matrix M using a row sums function. Okay, so here uh, 52 is the sum of the first row of matrix M, uh, 31 is the sum of the second row uh, of the matrix M and so on. Similarly, uh, for column sums, you can, we can use call sums uh, function to the matrix M. Uh, we can also calculate uh, the mean of uh, each rows and columns. Uh, for that, uh, we use the row means and call means function. So, let us calculate the mean for the rows. So, this is the mean for the first row, this is the mean for the second row and so on. Similarly, uh, for columns, uh, uh, this 10.25 is the mean for the first column, 11.75 is the mean for the second column and so on. There are some other important functions or um, we can use uh, for a matrix operations. For example, um, we can use a solve function to calculate the inverse uh, of a square matrix. Our matrix here is a uh, 4 by 4 matrix, so it is a square matrix. So, we can calculate um, the inverse of matrix M using this solve function. So, this is uh, the inverse matrix for matrix M. We can also calculate the transpose of the matrix using the T function, okay. And then we can uh, find the determinant of the matrix using the date function. Um, for our particular matrix M, uh, let us see how much is the determinant, okay. So, the determinant is this much here. And um, uh, we have another function uh, called DIAG, D -I -A -G, and this function basically creates a identity matrix. So, the argument of the function here is 3. So, it creates a 3 by 3 identity matrix uh, in this case. Okay. So, that is all about uh, some important operations uh, on matrix. Uh, thank you for watching.